and former super cop kiran bedi joins me on the phone line kiran bedi is someone who knows delhi and delhi police inside out having served in the ut cadre for over four decades kiran bedi this action sending two police officers on forced leave does this send a wrong message down the rank and file ma'am it has already done it in fact if you read the newspaper uh, officers without their names being disclosed are feeling very disenchanted they're feeling very demoralized they're questioning it they they're questioning it except that they don't want to be mentioned but it's it's send disenchantment down the line it's demoralized that's what he said police reforms cannot be per se without factor in in dealing with the policemen themselves also and tomorrow this will deter police officers from taking independent action uh, because they will fear there will be an aam aadmi party minister or activist who who will either go after him or there will be another dharna by arvind kejriwal is this not setting a wrong precedent ma'am well there are far too many wrong precedents already set and have already been tolerated to an extent uh, yesterday i said it was a clear case of constitutional anarchy when the leadership took the law into their own hands when the entire cabinet was in a zone of 144 violation so the, uh, in fact the trend has already been set a uh, a uh, 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 government which should have been actually dismissed if you ask me actually was fit for dismissal had there been anybody else would the police have allowed them even for a single moment that was a very sensitive area where you could not have had this dharna for even an hour and yes. you had it for 48 hours so you already weakened the police further it's all using the police for political survival if we were to specifically kiran bedi specifically if we were to speak of somnath bharti the honorable law minister of delhi did he violate the law is he in violation of law when he did he hamper the police from doing their duty ma'am from day one from that very night th there was preeminent evidence that he had broken the law and that is what has made the chief minister take to the streets to save the law and now the victim has even identified complainant and the victim have identified him there is a pr prima facie offense and evidence against him yet you will see that the chief minister will go to another dharna or do something more strategic to get the television back again because you see the whole goal yes. of the current political party is somehow awareness generation and membership drive that's it because they now it's not the question of running de governing delhi yes. which they realize they can't they're now looking for votes and numbers for lok sabha now